morning. Once again, I am going to demonstrate uh, uh, some assessments. Uh, this morning, I am going to demonstrate how to do a breast exam on Noel. Noel, good morning. How are you? Uh, when I'm going to do a breast exam, I'm going to explain to the woman what I'm doing. Uh, Noel, this morning we are going to do a breast exam. Now, do you do monthly breast exams? Okay. Uh, what I want you to do is uncover your chest. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a look. Ouch. Okay, with her chest uncovered, I am going to be looking at her breasts. And I'm going to be checking for symmetry, size, shape, color of the skin, texture of her skin. I'll be looking at any venous patterns. They should be similar on both breasts. I'm going to be looking for any lesions, nevi or moles, uh, and whether there's any retractions or dimpling. Then I'm going to inspect the, the nipples. I'm going to look for color of the nipples if they are pointing in the same direction. Also, if there's any eversion or inversion. If there's any uh, inversions, I want to know if this is normal for her or if this is something new. If this has been like this her whole life, I will not worry about it. Then I'm going to look at the Montgomery tubules and then also if there's any discharge. Once I've done this, then I'm ready to actually do the physical examination. Noel, is it alright if I touch you? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what is called a breast sweep or a chest sweep. And I am going to take my palm and I'm going to go all the way down the side of her chest, seeing if I can feel any lumps, masses, tuberosities, anything like that until I cover the entire chest wall and I will repeat that on the other side. Okay, I did not feel anything. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be inspecting her breasts at four different angles. Initially I want her sitting upright with just her arms relaxed at her side. And then the, the next way I will want her to check, to check her or inspect, I should say, is with her uh, standing or sitting with her hands behind her neck and her elbows slightly forward. And then I'm going to be checking again to see if there's any differences from when she's sitting here. Uh, the next way I'm going to do is to have her put her hands on her hips elbows again once her shoulders shrugged forward slightly and again I'm going to look to see if there's any dimpling, inversions, eversions, anything different from when she was sitting in the other two uh, directions. And then the last thing I'm going to do is ask her to lean forward a little bit and then see how she's looking from that way. After I've done that, then it is time to do the actual physical exam. Now there's two different methods of doing the physical exam. Uh, one way is a circular motion starting on the outside and working your way around in a circular motion going inwards. You want to start out with light palpation, then you're going to go to moderate palpation, and then you're going to go for a deeper palpation, and you're going to be trying to find if there's any lumps or masses or once again any tuberosities, fibroids, anything like that. You will do that on both sides. If you do find a lump or mass, you want to palpate it and see if you can determine what size it is, if it's got a regular border, an irregular border, or if it's tender to touch, and if it's movable, or if it's um, unmovable. And then um, you want to do that on the other breast as well. You want to check clear up into the subclavian area and you want to go down into the axillary area. You're going to be doing under her arm and clear down into here. 
Uh, sometimes, more often than not, you will find a lot of your lumps up here in the uh, axillary and upper breast tissue area. Uh, the second method of doing a breast exam is in an up or down motion. And the entire time you're doing this, you do not want to completely release your pressure on the skin because if you take your hands off, you might actually miss a lump. Uh, the, you need to be aware of what they call the five D's. Uh, you have to worry about discharge, depression, discoloration, dermatological changes, and also um, discharge and um, deviation. I think I said discharge twice, forgive me. <laughs> and. Um, then just make sure that she's doing her exams every month at home and the best time to be doing a self breast exam is usually about a week after you've had your period or a week before your period. The best time though is seven days after your period. And that is the completion of the breast exam. Thank you.